What's up, my people? I'm Ali, and I'm one of the co-founders at Moist Street Food. We've been in business for, how long we've been in business? Actually, about 23 years. Oh, 23 years. Whoa, time flies. We had restaurants before, we have won awards, expanded our business, and now we have our own YouTube channel. That's very exciting. We love what we do, but there are five things I wish we knew before we start a food truck. All right, so look, let me be honest with you, okay? Everybody thought that all we have to do is buy a truck and start selling food. No, it doesn't work that way. First of all, you have to decide what kind of food you're gonna be selling. Look, we know you can cook everything, but if you try to do that, you'll end up wasting all your resources just trying to buy the things you need. So pick up a handful of meals and get really good at them. For example, we specialize in street food and have won lots of awards for our tacos. Come to Deacon Baldings and you'll be blown away. We wish we had someone to tell us how long it'll take to get a permit. You're required to get one if you're gonna sell any kind of food or beverage in your establishment. And if you want to open a food truck in Texas, you have to go through a set of application process, okay? The same is gonna be in your state, wherever you are. It took us about seven days to complete all the paperwork. We were lucky to get approved when we did. But if we had been denied and had to appeal it, then, then of course, you know, we just go get it done and come back. We try to save some money here and there by going to a cheaper supplier, but we realize that our customers can taste the difference. So invest in good quality ingredients, that makes a difference. My father ran this company for a couple of years before he realized that in order to grow, he needed to bring other people in. So we've always liked the idea of the family business, so we end up hiring family and friends to run our business. Yeah, when we joined the company, we helped boost productivity over 85%. That's only because we were able to focus on different tasks. It's kind of like a relay race. To be successful in this industry, you need to stand out. And if you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing, you're gonna have the same results. We were struggling at once until we decided to make changes that ended up skyrocketing in our business. For example, we took a look at our menu and decided to optimize a few things. We got rid of the items that weren't selling right and found new suppliers with new, better and fresher ingredients. So while everyone was focusing on saving money, we were actually uh, spending a lot of money on our customer's experience. That made the difference. The very next month, we started to break records on ourselves. So, those are five things we wish we knew before starting our food truck. If you ever near the Woodlands, Texas, come check us out at Deacon's Baldi. Gracias por ver este video. Suscríbanse, compartan esto y a comer.